right, welcome everybody to the Block Changers Hackathon in Ronigan. Uh, we are the InBlock IO team, and we are uh, working here in the GDPR compliance for the energy industry track. And in the energy industry, with the new GDPR regulations, it's uh, extremely important that the user's data be and the privacy be maintained. Um, and there's a huge liability for companies if they um, do not follow that. It's, it could be anywhere up to 20 million euro or 4% of global revenues. And it is this problem that we're trying to solve for the society, both for the consumer and for the industry, so that they are GDPR compliant. So, when we speak about the retailer, today he needs access to the smart meter data to build their customers. And how they do it, they do it through an API access on the grid, uh, on the grid owner. So they request access to their data to build a customer. And uh, what they need to provide is, they need to provide a proof that they own the customer. This is, um, this is very important, so they are compliant, uh, that the grid provider is compliant. We lock every access every retailer is doing to the customer data at the event ledger. From the, um, from the customer perspective, it's very important that he has the opportunity to express his will, what is, uh, how his data is handled, but also give the opportunity to do smart contracts-based contracts with retailers to deliver energy. When the presumer connects to the retailer to express his will, uh, a contract is formed and a permission is the result out of that contract. And that permission is stored in the permission ledger. So we differentiate between the event ledger, which is for audit purposes in the first step, and we differentiate to the, to the uh, permission ledger, which stores the information who is allowed to access what. Uh, if we move further, uh, we have the opportunity to combine those two because we now see who accessed at which time which information and with the other ledger was he allowed to do so. So if we compare those two solutions of each other, we can get directly legal enforceability, but we can also build up on that and give the opportunity to uh, generate access control lists to control data access in the end. To break that down to the customer, he will have the opportunity to get transparency through an app, for example, where he sees who accessed my data and how are the access permission currently, who is allowed to access my data, and he is able to change that there as well. So to bring that down, all of these parties can have very strong benefits. We create very strong network effects, a win-win-win situation. So we believe that we have a transition currently going on from the data is not owned by the customer to we, are, we all own our data and we decide how this data is treated and what we are going to do with that data. And we believe that this is a very, very good first step for the energy market to actually go and achieve this goal.